for something a little indulgent, a bacon and cheese hamburger. That is my Achilles heel for sure. And I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch, including the mince. I love making my own mince at home. All you need is some chuck steak. So chuck steak's fantastic because it's got an 80 to 20% ratio, fat to meat ratio. So you can see the fat there. You want this in your hamburger mince because it's going to stay really juicy. So what I've done is just cube this into about three centimeter pieces and I've placed it in the freezer for 40 minutes. You want it to firm up slightly so when you do process it, it doesn't catch on the blade. Now I have a super powerful food processor here. I've got the ultra blade in and we'll place the meat in. No flavourings at all. This is all about the meat and the flavour of the meat. So I've just set this to a speed of 10, so high speed and this is going to take 30 seconds. So we'll just set the time to 30 seconds. Lid on and we'll blitz. That is perfect mince, fresh mince, nothing like it. See how it's perfectly chopped? That's what we're after, and little speckles of fat. So we'll take the blade out now and we'll pop this into our bowl. And now's the time to season it. So I like to just add salt and pepper. Look, if you wanted to, you could add some spices to this, some fresh herbs, but because this is all about the mince, the bacon, some pickles maybe. I just want to keep it a la naturale. So good pinch of good quality salt for this. And some freshly cracked pepper. And then get your hands in there and give that a really good mix just to combine all of that salt throughout the meat. Okay, before we start making our patties, let's get the bacon into the pan. I like to use streaky bacon and we want that to become really crispy. So we'll just get a few rashes of bacon straight into the pan. The pan doesn't need to be hot when you're cooking bacon. You wanna start with a dry, cold pan, turn the heat up. It's gonna slowly render the fat and that's what we're gonna be cooking our meat patties in. We've got our buns here. So we want the patties to be just slightly bigger than our buns because it will shrink slightly. I like to grab myself two pieces of baking paper and we'll get a nice generous handful of mince and we'll just press it together, so to form a ball. We'll place it between the paper, another one on top, and just press down on it to form our perfect patty. Not too thick for this. We want it to be even and quite thin, sort of old school milk bar style. So look at that. Just keep shaping it and we're right to go. If you want it to be pedantic, you could take that off and just run your hands around it just to make it the perfect circle. Good. Another great idea is to do these ahead of time and then you just keep piling them up, pop them in the fridge and when you're ready to have your hamburgers, they just come out of the fridge and you just start frying them. So I'm gonna make another one of these. We'll finish cooking this bacon and then we can cook the meat. for a few minutes, so let's flip our burgers. Oh, crispy, yummo. That's what we're after. And as soon as you flip it, we need to add the cheese. So American style cheese, we'll pop that on top and you'll see just from that residual heat from the meat and the pan's quite hot, it'll start to melt and go gooey. I'll warm up my buns. And we just want to toast them lightly. And I've kept it super simple. You can make a traditional burger, you could put some beetroot, make it an Aussie style burger, but we really want to concentrate on the beef, bacon, sauce, onions and pickles. So finely chopped onions, just cut into rings. 
and pickles. I'm going to cut them quite thinly so we can add a, a generous amount of them on. And look at this cheese. See how it's all melted? That is ready. Turn the heat off. We'll take the buns out of the pan. We can start assembling. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. So on the base of the bun, tomato sauce and some American style mustard. And while we're at it, we might as well do the top two. We all know I've got a sauce addiction and a condiment addiction too. <laughs> a little more sauce, just a small amount. We'll add our patties with cheese, drain off the excess fat, and then onto the base. You can see how much they shrink. That's why you do need to make them a little bigger so they fit perfectly. And our bacon, look at this bacon. It is so crispy. Oh, love the sound. And then on the top, maybe a little more, why not? We'll use it up. Our pickles. And a few rings of onion. As a kid, I would pick out all the onions and pickles, but now I absolutely love them. All right, let's pop this crown on. Ooh, yummo. This is such a treat. And there's just something about making your own hamburger at home. It just is always going to taste better, let alone the mince. Making your own mince at home is going to taste better. Pop one on the plate. That's maybe for later. But right now, I just want to chop this in half and have a taste. Cheesy, juicy. Don't go get takeaway hamburgers. Make your hamburgers at home. They're going to taste better and it's the joy, the joy of making it at home. So good, I'm definitely going to be eating both of those.